Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Hello and welcome to my channel. Problem 1.62 and 1.63. So the statement is that crimping tool is used to crimp the end of the wire E. If a force of 20 pound is applied to the handle, determine the average shear stress in pin at A. The pin is subjected to double shear and has a diameter of 0.2 inch. Only a vertical force is exerted on a on the wire. So you can see this is a crimping tool. This is a wire at point E which you want to cut clear the force on the handle is 20 pound so in first part which is 1-62 this is given that pin a at a is double shear so you have to find the uh, average shear stress in the pin so let's move and solve this problem so for that i have to draw the free body diagram so first we will uh, i will draw the free body diagram of this portion this segment clear this segment which i, I have highlighted so for that I will draw it uh, so this will be like this and this is the rest handle clear so this is point B at point B there will be two forces one will be along X direction which is BX and the other one will be the vertical force which is BY so this is point B at this point CD I will show point D and there will be a force which is FCD there and this force will be equal to FCD this force will be downward or upward you can take any one and there is a force on the handle which is acting vertical and this force is equal to 20 pound rest distance between V and this point D is given as 1 inch so from this point to this point this is equal to 1 inch and from D point to point of application of force this is 5 inch clear so from free body diagram so from free body diagram I will apply the moment equation that sum of all moment about point D is equal to 0 taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. Why D? Because we are going to find BX and BY. Clear? So let's move and uh, find this moment about point D. Sum of all moment about point D is equal to 0. So you can see the only force which is producing moment about point D is BY and this 20 pound force. The BX is not producing moment because it is passing through this point D clear so this is point D okay so 20 pound into perpendicular distance is uh, 5 inch which is producing movement about point D and it is producing counterclockwise movement so it will be positive BY into perpendicular distance is 1 inch and it is producing movement in clockwise direction so it will be negative so BY into 1 is equal to zero so when you solve this you will get dy is equal to 100 pound now we apply the second equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along x direction is equal to zero and force in this direction is positive so you can see only one horizontal force is bx there is no other force so it means that bx is equal to zero now uh, we have find out the force in this B portion clear we will now the draw the free, free body diagram of this portion which I will highlight to you okay so this will be the portion so this I will draw the free body diagram of this portion clear so let draw it uh, we will move downward so you can see this is the portion so this is point 
where E there is a vertical force that is acting on the wire clear and this will be Fe clear at this point A we will have two forces one is along x direction and one is along y direction clear this is point A this is AX this is AY A Y and this is point B where force is applied and at point B we have seen that there is a hundred pound force that is acting so this force is acting in this direction hundred pound force because at point B it was acting upward now we, if you take this portion so it will be acting downward also the distance between A and B is given as 2, two inch and distance from E to A is 1.5 inch so this distance is 1.5 inch so we will apply a equilibrium condition for this free body diagram it is free second free body diagram so we will apply the equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along x direction is equal to zero and force in this direction is taken as positive why we are using this second because in first we have find the forces at point b now we will consider the second body free body diagram in order to find the forces in this point a and then from that we will find the shear force clear so you can see there is no force uh, there is only one force acting along horizontal direction there is no other force so it means ax is equal to zero now we will apply the second equilibrium condition that sum of all movement about point e is equal to zero so this was point e you can see this force is acting over here clear so at point e this force is equal to zero and taking counterclockwise movement as positive so about point e two forces producing movement one is a y and the second one is 100 pound force so we'll apply the equilibrium condition so a y into 1.5 a y into 1.5 and it is producing counterclockwise movement it will be positive the second moment is 100 into perpendicular distance is 2 inch plus 1.5 inch which is 3.5 inch and it will be negative so 100 into 3.5 is equal to 0 so from here you will get ay is equal to 233 pound here now you have the force at point a which is equal to 233 and it is also given that uh, the pin is subjected to double shear and has diameter of 0.2 inch only so for double shear it is given as double shear so pin is subjected to double shear it means that your shear force at point A is equal to uh, force at point A divided by 2 and force at point A is actually AY so AY divided by 2 so it will be 233 pound divided by 2 which will be equal to 116.6 pound now you have the shear force you can find the average shear force at point A so average shear force will be equal to shear force divided by shearing area here so shear force is 116.6 and shearing area is since pin is circular having diameter 0 0.2 inch only so shearing area will be equal to pi by 4 0 0.2 whole square so when you solve this so you will get the sharing average sharing stress is equal to 3.71 ksi here it will be 3714 psi and when you convert it into ksi it will be 3.71 ksi so this was the answer of part first in part b it is given that solve problem 1.62 for pin b 
now we have to find the average shear stress for pin B okay so I will solve it over here 1-63 so for this problem you have to revise this from this you have to draw the free body diagram and you have to find the force in at point B which is already calculated and B Y is equal to 100 pound again the pin is subjected to double shear so a, a pin is shear, uh, subjected to double shear so force shear force in B will be equal to B Y divided by 2 so 100 divided by 2 which is equal to 50 pound now we have shear force so shear stress at point in point B that is average is equal to shear force at point B divided by sharing area of point B so shear force is 50 pound and sharing area can be found the, the diameter of this pin is 0 0.2 inch so it will be equal to pi by 4 0 0.2 whole square so again when you solve this so average shear stress at point B comes out to be 1592 PSI pound per square inch and when you convert it into KSI it will be equal to 1.59 KSI so this is the answer of part uh, second part of the problem which is problem 1-63 uh, again this is very easy problem only you have a basic understanding of how to apply the equilibrium condition and how to find, uh, draw the free body di diagram rest you can easily solve this type of problems thank you for watching